If you've got a full belly, prepare yourself because you might just puke upon seeing and listening to this unbelievable, embarrassing cringe. This is the worst flirting, the worst attempt at wooing a potential romantic interest I have ever seen. This is like playing a visual novel and then scaring away all of your potential love interests at once and getting the worst ending. Now I'd like to give a bit of context here to the situation before we really dive into the meatballs from our spaghetti entree of cringe. A user on Twitter posted screenshots as well as videos from a random guy who had reached out to her on Facebook because he had seen her on a dating app. The two didn't even match. And I guess he must have assumed that it was some kind of glitch because they were destined to be lovers. It was fate that was pulling them together, but unfortunately technology had a malfunction. So he took matters into his own hands, tracked her down on Facebook, of which she had no connection to the dating app. She didn't connect any of her socials to the dating app, so he did some super sleuthing to find her on Facebook and reach out to her there to try and win her heart. And uh, let's see how that went. Kelsey! I love that intro right there. It's straight out of scary movie. Like that old commercial. What's up? <laughs> He's coming at her like they're best friends from way back in the day. He then executes Order 66 and kills all potential for romance. He goes, I mean, uh, K, shit. Mayhaps that was a tad overly enthusiastic for a stranger danger message on a sunny Friday morning. There is so much quirk to the way that he texts that I'm getting uncomfortable. I can say with a high level of confidence that he is definitely in some kind of theater troupe because he is typing like he's acting out some kind of skit for a play. It's, it's, it's a little much here. My bad. Let's go with, uh, I can explain. Fuck yeah. That works. Then drops a couple of emojis and then one of these bad boys. How she didn't immediately fall in love with this man is beyond me. This is aggressive. And it's already creepy because it's a complete stranger who saw her on a dating app and then tracked her down in order to, you know, really directly communicate with her. So, let's go over where things went wrong here. I, I'll go ahead and get the, the playbook out like John Madden and say where everything fell apart for the offense. From the start, basically. It, there is nothing that's even remotely salvageable from what he tried to do here. There is nothing more annoying than texting like you're talking to yourself during the text. Like when you say something like, Kelsey, I mean, oh wait, shit, hmm, mayhaps that was a tad too far on a stranger danger sunny Friday afternoon. Hmm, goodness gracious, how do I save this? Like that, that is so fucking lame. That is shameful. That is just downright shameful. I am shocked he didn't drop like an asterisk nuzzles you. And then an asterisk, you there? Yeah, and then one of those emojis. So she said, sorry, do I know you? And then it reactivates this cringe protocol. He says, oh, hey, no, we don't know each other. Sincere apologies for the subterfuge. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks. Dropping subterfuge here in your creepy approach to a stranger. If you give me the tiniest bit of room, I'd be happy to explain. I reckon that said explanation will bring laughs and smiles. P.S. Not trying to rope you into a pyramid scheme to sell fancy Tupperware. Yet. He's trying very hard to be self-aware. And when he starts sending his voice memos to her, he reiterates a thousand times like, this is weird, oh, you're probably gonna think I'm weird, and then just keeps doing it. He sends so many voice messages that go for a long, long time. It's making my voice crack because of how fucking embarrassing it is. And you want to know the wildest part? I'm getting ahead of myself and it's a spoiler. He has done this to multiple women, apparently. Other women have come forward after this tweet and all of this, uh, the receipts here and all that went viral with other women showing their interactions with him. And he even uses like the exact same lines on other women, which is really odd considering that has to be a 0% success rate. These, these can't be working well at all. It's so weird. So she decides to play ball here and open Pandora's box to see what comes out. She says, explain away. And he gives a brief, you know, cool guy thing. Oh God, I just spent 60 minutes singing to seniors and man, am I drained. But fuck it, 
I can do this. He's hyping himself up in the text messages he is sending to this girl. It is so embarrassing and he keeps doing it, but it gets worse because right after that, he sends a voice message. Hey, Kelsey, how's it going? Don't mind me, I fucking hate texting. I think we we're all better without it, so I usually use one of these when I can. Um, also, I don't know if you've ever seen that Key and Peel skit, but that's how I feel about texting. I could go on. Anyway, um, I just want you to know right off the bat, I fully accept how fucking weird this is. I'm sorry, but like I said, I think if you give me a second, you'll probably end up laughing. And uh, not that you need my permission, but feel free to just laugh directly at me for being a fucking idiot, for I am surely about to embarrass myself right now. I do appreciate your stamp of approval. I and everyone else will be laughing directly at you for this, and... I, I appreciate that you recognize what an unbelievably weird thing it is to do. I don't know why you keep doing it. This is the first of many voice messages he sends, even after recognizing this immutable fact that it is weird and embarrassing. <laughs> and sorry for the delay. I was going to get back to you, but I just, someone called about a gig tomorrow and I'm trying to help them find a musician. Also, I'm not sure if I'm fucking funny anymore. I just spent 60 minutes, like I said, uh, playing guitar and singing to a room full of senior citizens, but the room was stuffy and hot. I had to do it with the surgical mask on, and I'm not sure if I have any funny or social energy left, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and fake it right now. So thank you for your understanding and patience, and uh, here goes nothing. I'm a fucking idiot. Enjoy. He's actually treating this like it's some kind of movie audition. What are you talking about? I also just, I, I love that he immediately makes himself seem like super busy, like, hey, sorry for the delay. I know you were waiting on bated breath for my explanation, but I had to help uh, very big musicians find a gig. Uh, you you may have heard of them before. Bring me the horizon. Uh, yeah, I, I I'm the lead singer. Uh, so I had a lot going on. Uh, I was double booked, so I had to give them a different band. You may have heard of them, Metallica. Uh, but anyway, let me go ahead and explain what's going on. I just finished one of my own gigs, in fact. So I'm a little I'm a little drained, but don't be perturbed because I, I'm gonna do my best to fake it. So stay tuned for uh, part two. It's it's coming right up. Yeah, like he's he's about to go through his uh, stand up comedy routine, which. You know, you don't want to miss. In the trenches of online dating for a couple of years, so I definitely know how to identify the kind of person. I'm like, eh, if nothing else, the world would be better if we were friends. So hear me out. Um, first of all, I never fucking see that shrug emoji. No one else uses it. It's typed into my phone. If I, if I type shrug with two Gs, it just shows up. Same thing on my laptop. Like, I'll use it in work emails. Fuck it. Um, so right away, I'm like, huh, interesting. I don't get it, though. She's cute. For how pretty she is, she should be boring. Why does she seem kind of strange in a good way? That's a spectacular start right there. I was like, she's kind of pretty, so why isn't she like a fucking lobotomite boring dumbass? Like, she used an emoji that I really like. And she's pretty. Like, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Pretty women can't have a personality, but you're like defying all of science right now. He just keeps going on about this fucking shrug emoji. He's talking about her bio on the dating site, and he just really fixates on that. That shrug emoji is like Cupid's arrow to this guy. He fell in love instantly when he saw it in her bio. I don't know why he thought it was a compliment to say that she's like strange and different in a good way because pretty women are like boring or, or whatever insinuates that a pretty girl can't have a personality. I don't know what the thought process was with that approach, but it's definitely a bold play. Um, I think you said something about live music. My job is actually live music. I play guitar and sing. I do about 25 shows a month. Uh, I know it sounds made up. I feel like I invented the job. It's redonkulous, but I live very comfortably. Life is good. Um, I do play at a lot of retirement homes, and it's great for my self-esteem, Kels, as I am a big hit with women over 80. Time out. Time out. Uh, technical foul here. He just dropped a redonkulous. He just said redonkulous. And then not only that, in his... Only second voice message here, he's already just calling her Kels. They're not even on, like, a first-name basis. They're not uh, acquaintances. They These are two complete strangers, and he's already giving her, like, a nickname. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, and just the night before, I'd been talking to one of my best friends in the world, Roxy. Um, just people that, like, match you, and they just write, hey. So if someone writes, hey, I just write, hi. And if someone writes, sup, I go, nothing much, you. And, like... People that match me and clearly haven't read my fucking bio, folks will match and be like, so what do you do for a living? I'm like, uh, come on, Chelsea. Like, yeah, you're kind of cute, but I'm pretty damn sweet. Try harder. Why are you even talking about this? You're like trauma dumping on this complete stranger right now that you've tracked down from a dating app to try and communicate directly with because you didn't match with her. What the fuck is this? 
Now he's just going on about like, oh, dating apps are so weird. People just say like, hey. So then I'm like, hi. You don't know how to have a conversation. You didn't, you didn't read the bio that I painstakingly typed up. I spent a long time on that bio and now I'm offended. It, ridiculous. Uh, excuse me. Redonkulous. I don't know. It's just to see someone mention that in a bio, I'm like, thank you. I can see that you feel the same as me. <laughs> um, yeah, if people, I, I always think that effort should match interest in dating. So if you're curious if someone's interested or not, um, remember that scene with Justin Long and what's her face in that movie about dating? Is it he's just not that into you? And he's like, if the guy's interested, he will call. And it's true. So I found a line a couple of years ago where it's like, effort will always match interest. It will show you how interested someone is. And like, I'm pretty goddamn sweet. And I am not that lonely, bored, or horny. I'm not going to take breadcrumbs from someone if I want a sandwich. So if someone hits me with a hey or hi, you can go fuck yourself. He's just sounding like a complete unhinged asshole here. It's not that deep. What do you mean they can just go fuck themselves? No one's even, like, what does this have to do with anything in this situation? This isn't even flirting. This is just blurting. He's just blurting out all of the most nonsensical shit in his head right now to a complete stranger. And not only that, this is probably not even his first take. I bet he recorded this like 10 times until he had one that was like, this is the one. This was smooth. And th that's what we got here. We got the final product. This isn't even like the first draft, I, I doubt. Which is, that's mind-blowing. I'm worth more. Damn it. This is where the Kelly Clarkson song comes in. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, your bio is just, there was so much intentional effort put in. And honestly, the more I scroll down in the pics, I'm like, this does not match up. I don't want to sound like an asshole. Like attractive people can also be interesting and funny, but it's, it's just incredibly rare. I speak, uh, speak for myself because I'd like to consider myself one of those. That's the end of chapter two from the voice memos, but don't worry. There's still a finale and it's, it's the extended director's cut. The next one's over five minutes long. Also. He doubles down on this whole, like, yeah, you're, like, pretty, but you have a personality, which that just does not happen. I don't know why he thinks that that's some kind of, like, grand compliment. It's very odd. Now, before playing the 5-minute, 30-second monologue here, uh, he must have seen that she listened to it. He's like, ah, gotcha! Yeah, I gotcha! Red-handed, you listen to it! Curiosity got the better of you. And then she says, dude... So you saw me on Bumble and found me on Facebook? How? Clearly very creeped out by it, understandably. And then he goes, Oh, I honestly just typed in Kelsey and I guess I got lucky. I figured because you put live music we might have some friends in common or something. I blame Zuckerberg and then laughing emoji. Which contradicts everything that he's said here because he's constantly talking and referencing her bio, which I think is referring to her dating profile bio. Especially because he does mention, like, online dating with hays and highs and shit. So I don't even know why he thought that would somehow save the situation. Like, she'd be fooled by it. For the love of fuck, I was, like, two minutes into one, and it was awesome and funny, and I was so proud of it, and then someone called me again about a gig this evening, and it's like, you know that thing where your friends know you're busy or you're on a date or something, and then that's when they decide to call? Jesus Christ. Excellent. Chef's kiss. This is how you start a, a romantic message. Oh, for the love of fuck. I was in the middle of something spectacular. You were gonna love it, Kels. You were gonna love it. Trust me. But then one of my fucking asshole friends called me about a gig. Because I'm so busy being a successful live musician. Can you believe that, Kels? Can you believe that? It's like those things, you know, where, like, we both go on dates, right? I go on dates. Clearly, you go on dates, and sometimes when you're just busy, people call. It's Jesus Christ. But yeah, no, your bio was just the fucking bee's knees. I mean, listen, top three in like the hundreds or thousands I've seen, it was just, I don't know. I'm a very good judge of character, and you just seem like my kind of person. And I'm not saying we're star-crossed lovers. I don't know you, and you don't know me. That's 100% correct. You don't know each other. So why are you doing this? This is not how you get to know someone. This is concerning. Also, you should never admit to seeing hundreds or thousands of dating profile bios. That makes you sound very desperate, that you spend all of your time on these dating apps, perusing it, cruising around, and if you don't match with someone you found attractive or interesting based on their bio, you go out of your way to find them elsewhere to try and talk to them, which is very scary behavior. I fully accept how strange and unconventional this is. I just, I got a vibe and I figured I got to go with it. I was like in a really good mood that day. I don't know. <laughs> I'm totally winging it. But um, yeah, a lot of my close friends are women and 
everyone unfortunately has a couple stories of having to block someone's number or an ex just won't leave them alone or going to the cops. Fuck dude, I've had to block a few numbers of crazy people that didn't know they were crazy. So I really, really apologize sincerely if this in any way like triggered that or it was weird or whatever. Uh, Kelsey, that's the furthest thing from my intention. I just wanted to say howdy and I figured if I talk like an idiot, you'd probably feel like I did after I looked at your bio. It's so close. He's teetering on the edge of self-awareness. Him saying all of this out loud should have led to this eureka moment where he was overcome with immense shame and he just presses the eject button and deletes the voice memo and doesn't doesn't continue this conversation like he's clearly pointing out just how weird all this is he's even going into all of his friends or women who you know have stories about having to block crazy people who didn't know they were crazy like case in point what you're doing here but you keep trying to like Make it seem like it's not weird, even though you do keep acknowledging how weird it is. So, like, you're, you're fighting, like, a battle against yourself in your own messages. You are calling yourself out in front of the person that you're talking to as well. It's really weird. Oh, okay. It's not fair. You've seen mine. Or, sorry, I've seen yours and you have not seen mine. If you want, I will screenshot my Bumbo bio. I'm quite proud of it. I think it's pretty fucking good. It represents me well. And, um, what else would I want to know if I was you? Gee, I'm like six feet tall, um, pretty damn handsome. I'd give me like a seven. No, like a seven and a half out of ten looks wise. I mean, to my knowledge, no one has dated me for my abs or my hair. I'm guessing it's because I'm funny and honest and clearly very humble and go to therapy and emotionally intelligent. It's not a job interview, bro. You don't need to be giving your resume here. Brother, just stop. I... I Please, <laughs> goodness gracious. Seven and a half, maybe even an eight. I'm feeling really fucking good lately. I got a tan. I'm up to like 80 second side planks. I hate them, but they're totally worth it for the core. And um, big feet. So you know what that means, baby doll. Big socks. <laughs> um, you're scaring me. You, you are scaring me. Why would you do that? What? From, from, from way downtown here... He's throwing up a crazy jump shot. He, he immediately goes into, I've got big feet. You know what that means? Baby girl. Oh my lord, please. Have mercy. Have mercy. Why? Why? <laughs> what else? I feel like I didn't tell you enough about the bio too. That shrug emoji was just, if nothing else, the fact that like you look like a Disney princess and you use that, I'm like, fuck it. I gotta talk to her. So, um... Oh, I was definitely getting strong Kirsten Bell vibes, too, and she's awesome. I don't know if you listen to her husband's podcast, Armchair Expert, with Dax Shepard. It's quite the reference, but I have a feeling you might know what that is. One of my favorite episodes, actually, um, is it Lauren Graham that plays Lorelai? She was on there. Anyway, I am um, all over the fucking place, as is my, my job. You're also all over the place in this one-sided conversation. Now you're shouting out podcasts, talking about fucking shrug emoji again. <laughs> it's it's hurting me listening to this it, it is it, let this be a lesson to everyone out there watching this just don't do anything even remotely like this never engage in a one-sided conversation where you have to be the one filling in blanks in a conversation that doesn't really exist uh, but I'm sitting here, a middle-aged guy in his car with the AC on and a SpongeBob shirt, and I would call this like the technological version of, you know, when like Noah stops Ally in the notebook and he's like, I just, I had to talk to you when I see something I want. <laughs> yes, I just made a notebook reference. I don't know. I'm, I'm being a total idiot right now. So if nothing else, I figured you'd have a laugh and a smile and you can fucking make fun of me to your friends. I don't know. Now you have a solo podcast for a guy that makes like six grand a month on a microphone being an idiot. He was right. This is something that everyone can laugh about and have a big smile on their face making fun of this whole situation. And then out of nowhere, he drops like his salary from his job like to flex. He just like slides that in there, which I mean, it's it's an interesting strategy yet again. This this guy's got a wild book of tricks. I'm sorry, I don't normally bring up money, but I feel like I created my job out of thin air and like I just submitted my 2022 taxes and shit's been getting so much better the last few years. So I'm quite proud of it. That wasn't me trying to uh, impress you though with money. I've got way more impressive shit than that. Uh, it just slipped out. I hope we can still be friends. Anyway, um... Why, why leave it in there then? You saying that clearly made you uncomfortable. You could have just deleted this and, and just tried again. 
though I don't think you should have tried again regardless, this shouldn't have happened to begin with, but you yourself just made, <laughs> you just made yourself puke in your mouth when you said your, your, you know, six grand a month out loud like that as like a flex. And you still let it ride. You still let this Beyblade rip. Why? You look like a goddamn Disney princess. The bio completely floored me. I felt like it was written by a friend or something. I just got like strong, like fellow neurodivergent, super cool, um, gregarious, happy person vibes. And uh, yeah. So listen, I'm an open book. You probably figured that out like six over shares ago. If you have any questions for me, please hit me. Don't be shy. Uh, if you want, I'll share my bio. I feel like it's unfair that, you know, I've seen yours and you haven't seen mine. I'm quite proud of my bio. This entire situation has been nothing but overshares from you. She's not going to ask you any questions. No sane person would. It's not going to happen. This whole thing was a complete catastrophe. And once again, hung up on this fucking bio thing. They're just bios. Most people write them in 10 seconds. I, I don't know how long he spent, like, finally crafting his, but that is not the norm. I, I'm sure she didn't spend days coming up with her bio on here. I don't know how it, it resonated so strongly with this guy, but I bet after this whole song and dance, the, the woman here immediately just deleted the, her whole account, or at the very least removed the bio entirely. Um, yeah, for the 80th time, I apologize if this was weird. Uh, or, like, gave you any bad vibes. That's not my intention. Um, yeah, I gotta drive home now, because I gotta go sing at a bar in Mississauga, and I have four more gigs this weekend, and it hurts to talk. So, <laughs> I'm sitting here in my car like a jackass. And, uh, yeah, I hope that all made some kind of sense. And if nothing else, please take the sincere compliment. I've seen hundreds of shitty bios, probably thousands, and yours was easily top three. The only reason I'm not giving you number one is because then it would seem like I'm lying. But I'm a very genuine, honest person, and, uh, yeah. Actually, on my way home, I'm gonna go to the park and feed the ducks. My favorite swan couple, Mr. Plump and Mr. Pl and Mrs. Plumfett, they just had babies a couple weeks ago. So, like, I'll run up, and they recognize me, and the babies are squeaking. The hierarchy of, like, waterfowl cute babies, it goes swan babies, then ducklings, and then goslings. But, um, yes, I may or may not do that four to seven times a week. I'm a huge animal lover. Dogs are better than cats. Cats suck. Sorry if you have cats, but I'm sure your cat is cool. That was one of the most peculiar lies I've ever heard. You're going to stop at the park on the way home so you can visit your favorite swan couple, Mr. Plumph and Mrs. Plumfett, because they just had babies a couple weeks ago, and they recognize you and get excited and start squeaking when you come by. Like you're part of the family, part of the crew, part of the ship. What universe? What the fuck? That's not even something Dr. Seuss would write as like a little goofy side plot in a story. This is the- that is- that is the biggest lie I've ever heard for no reason. For no- for no reason. I, I, the quirkiness is overloading. Like, the cup runneth over on quirk. Wow. And, uh, yeah, take the compliment. Anyway, uh, apologies if this totally like, intruded on your day opposite of my intention. And, uh, yeah, your bio was fucking awesome. I mean, there's a couple other assets I noticed too, but I cannot mention them without sounding like a fuckboy, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm sure you've worked very hard to be in the shape you're in, but goddamn, lady. God damn, I would not kick you out of bed for eating crackers. So I figured if you are half as funny as you seem to be and half as cool as I got from that bio, I would say howdy. Um, yeah, all right. Hope this made you laugh and smile, and uh, you have a fantastic old day, Kelsey. Cheers. And that's the, the grand finale of this whole situation, and what a journey it was. I find this to be probably the best example of the worst approach to romance imaginable. And like I said, this was not an isolated incident. He's done this before. <laughs> he, he, and he's even used the same lines before. Which is so, it's so wild. It's so wild. I had to talk about it. I had to. So yeah, that's, that's really about it. See ya.